Guiding Eyes for the Blind is a national organization dedicated to raising and training guide dogs. Our club on campus is an extension of the Finger Lakes region, which is one of 37 regions that Guiding Eyes for the Blind has, going from Maine to North Carolina and out west to Ohio. Guiding Eyes for the Blind has its own canine development center where they breed Labradors and German Shepherds and then take care of those puppies for the first eight weeks of their life. After that point, they go to their raisers, who have them until they're between the ages of 12 and 18 months. It is the raiser's job to teach basic commands and to do socialization with their, with their dogs, so they will take them everywhere they go, essentially. On our campus, you'll see dogs going to class with their raisers, going to dining halls, going to the library, just things like that to ensure that our dogs are getting a well-rounded perspective of our campus and social, being socialized to all sorts of different environments and places and groups of people. So after the pup's time with their razor is done, they go back to getting eyes for the blind. They go in for their IFT test, which is their in for training test. And once they pass that test, they go into official guide training where they work with trainers to teach them the actual skills that they'll need in order to guide someone with a visual impairment around. And in there, they have a huge kennel with all of the other dogs that are in the uh, training at the same time so they have lots of friends there that they get to spend time with and during that time they're in a pretty regimented schedule with they're assigned a trainer that works with them each day but they also get their play time in the community run so they get to spend time with their friends so it's a lot of work and play. If the dog decides for one reason or another that they don't want to be a guide dog or that they can't be a guide dog, Guiding Eyes works very closely with bomb detection training programs as well as special needs programs. So there are other careers that the dog can go to if they are not suitable for guide work. I got involved with GEB because I love the idea of working with dogs and also helping the community. Um, I didn't just join the club because I love dogs, which I know a lot of people do. I think that's a really bad idea because we're really not, we love dogs, but we also are doing this for humans and we want to help humans. Yes, Chloe lives with me all the time. She stays in my room on campus. She's basically by my side pretty much 24-7 at this point. Um, and when I go home over the summer or for breaks, she comes along with me. So I have a home region there, and she goes to classes and trains while she's at home too. Raising a dog is definitely one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Um, it's a huge commitment. You have to know you're ready for it. You should at least have as many sitting hours under your belt as you can before you decide to raise. Um, I definitely did and it was a huge help to be able to walk into raising knowing what I was doing and uh, knowing that I was going to be able to handle having a dog with me 24-7 and have this connection with this dog. A sitter is essentially a certified member who works with our dogs on campus when their raisers are at work or going to class or going somewhere that they can't take their dogs with them. Being a sitter is a great option for someone who isn't able to commit to raising. Sitters are put on weekly sitter schedules so the time that they get to spend with dogs each week is pretty constant and they also get to choose their own hours so they can sit either anywhere from an hour to 20 hours a week if you want, um, which is nice if you don't have a lot of time on your hands. The first summer that I was a sitter, I did a 10-day homestay, and it was really amazing to watch that dog and to learn their little quirks, and I really wanted that experience for myself over the course of a year and not just a week. Sitters are definitely a huge resource for raisers because it allows their dogs to get a chance to work with multiple different people. Um, as guide dogs, they're going to be going into harness training and they're going to be working with lots of different handlers and we want them to be able to have a good connection with anyone who they're working with to be successful. My favorite part about raising was definitely watching my dog grow from a rambunctious, crazy little puppy into 
a dog that knows what she's supposed to do and is happy to do it. You and the dog become a team. Uh, when they're really little, uh, they develop personalities and it's amazing to watch them grow from these little 10, 15 pound puppies into full-size dogs with full-size personalities that you really get to know. My favorite part about raising is seeing how much joy Ocala and I bring to so many different people as we walk by them or as she greets them and they're just smiling and laughing. It's so cool to see. It's so good to put smiles on so many people's faces and uh, just being able to have a dog with you 24-7 is really fun and really cool. So giving up your dog, it's a very exciting but also emotional time because Back when you make the commitment to get a dog when they're eight weeks old, that is what your ultimate goal is, is to raise them, to get to the training school, to further their training, and ultimate goal is to have them become a guide dog. So in that regard, it's very rewarding to see them go on into training. I think there's a misconception that there's a disconnect between us and our dog and that we sort of put up a wall between us because we know that eventually they're going to leave but that's not true. We love our dogs with all of our heart and it sucks when you give them back and you don't see them every day and you don't get to spend all that time with them that you used to but it's really gratifying to be able to know that all the work that you put in with them is paying off and that they'll be able to help change somebody's life for the better. When I brought my dog in for training, she seemed really happy to be there. It made me feel a lot better about the whole situation because she just seemed super excited to be in a new place and there were all these toys and there were toys filled with peanut butter and that was her favorite food. So she seemed super happy and excited to be there. And then I got to see her after she took her test and was officially accepted into training and she seemed so happy to be in this new phase of her life that I felt comfortable leaving her knowing that she was in good hands and she was going to have a great time learning how to be a guide dog. Guiding Eyes for the Blind is a national organization dedicated to raising and training future guide dogs. That's what it is, right? <laughs>